What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to take a look at this afternoon's AFC wildcard playoff matchup. You have the Cincinnati Bengals hosting the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at your bar. Also, if you are Madden 22 player on Xbox One, excuse me, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Uh, Y'all may hear beeping noise throughout the video. Um, please disregard that, and I do apologize for the inconvenience. Um, <laughs> so here we go, man. It's playoff football, Um, Cincinnati Bengals versus Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals clinched the AFC NARC two weeks ago with a big-time win uh, at home against the Kansas City Chiefs which basically allowed them to not really play their starters last week um, against the Cleveland Browns. Uh, they kind of re relaxed, chilled, and just, you know, got healthier. Uh, as meanwhile, the Las Vegas Raiders are coming into this game already in playoff mode. I mean, they had to win their last three games all by three walk-offs to get to this point, including a just instant classic against the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday night uh, to get into this position. And the two teams also met each other early in the season when both teams were sitting with a 5-4 and four record. The Cincinnati Bengals pretty much dominated that game on the scoreboard. I think it was 32-13. to 13. Uh, And in that game, you know, Joe Mixon had a big-time performance. Uh, Burrow had a nice touchdown pass to Chase. Uh, and for the Raiders, you know, uh, Darren, Wilder, Darren Wilder had a big game. And Foster Moreau got a touchdown. Uh, but for them, for the Raiders, they got a lot of pressure on um, Jumbo. I call him Jambalaya Joe Burrow because, as y'all can see, I'm an LSU guy also. So, you know, I got a lot of love for him and Chase and um, uh, Moreau, Foster Moreau as well as an LSU Tiger. Uh, but, you know, Raiders got a lot of pressure on him in that game. So, um, me looking forward to this matchup, um, you know, when the Bengals have the ball or going up against the Raiders' defense, for me, the Bengals got to, you know, run the football, um, you know, have success running it because the Raiders, uh, guys like Max Crosby and the Gakwe and them, they want to get up the field and get a lot of pressure on uh, on Burrow like they did last time. Um, Burrow was under duress. I don't think he even threw for that much yards like that. So for the Raiders, uh, for the Bengals, they got to run the football. Joe Mixon, to me, is a vital, vital part of this game. Now, I do think, of course, if they get enough time, they can have some success throwing downfield to the very, very young, talented wide receiver core that the Bengals have. But I think ultimately they got to run the football with Joe Mixon. And for the Raiders, of course, get pressure on Burrow. Like, if you get pressure on him, it makes it easier for the back end to cover those very talented wide receivers. And um, and to me, that's just the key to the whole game is getting pressure on the quarterback. Uh, you look at the other side of the ball, when the Raiders have the ball going up against the Bengals, what the Raiders got to do is, to me, is exploit, use, the, use your mismatches. Um, you know, they got Darren Wilder is back healthy. Foster Moreau is a very, very good number two tight end. So for Derek Carr, find the tight ends. I don't think the Bengals have a matchup for those tight ends at all. Um, I don't think they have any safeties or any linebackers that could run with Darren Wilder or even match a Foster Moreau. So for Derek Carr and that offensive staff, I think they got to find ways, find the mismatches with the tight ends because they did that a lot last time. And they had some success. Um, and for the Bengals, you know, it's it's you got to take them away, obviously. <laughs> the, the opposite. You got to take them away. Um, you know, and also also take them away. Just double them and double Wilder, Monroe. Force those Raiders wide receivers to beat you. Hunter Renfro is a nice slot receiver. The other guys got a lot of speed with Zay Jones and Edwards and Deshaun, but None of those guys are guys that, from a volume standpoint, could scare you, like what Cincinnati has with Chase and Higgins and Boyd. So for for Cincinnati, they got to find ways to take away the tight ends. And if they do that, they could be successful. 
Uh, this is going to be a very fun. I think uh, this game is going to be much more competitive than it. it was actually a competitive game last time. Cincinnati kind of pulled away late. Um, I think you have a much more competitive game this time around with the Cincinnati Bengals and the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, me personally, a hey, LSU guy, my heart with Jambalaya Joe and, and, and Jamar Chase and them. But, you know, I just want to see a good game. Man. I think it's going to be a lot higher scoring and much, much, much competitive. Uh, both teams trying to end drought. Cincinnati hasn't won a playoff game in we know in, in how long, man. Because, um, I mean, Marvin Lewis was there for all those years and never won. And for the Raiders, they ain't won one since 2002. So when you factor that in, that both teams trying to break a long drought, it makes this game even more intriguing to me. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.